This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Johnny Van Dusen with me in the studio. Always a great day <laughs> when Johnny's on, on, the, on the set with Good us. Good to see you again, Kathy. Thank you very much for taking the time today because I know you're busy. You're I'm busy. pretty busy all the time, yeah. So we take the show on Tuesdays and that's a busy day for you now too. It is so, yeah. I'm uh, starting my first uh, back at it since uh, three years ago, um, public oldies dances. Um, music from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, I DJ quite a bit of it, but I actually have live entertainment that shows up too. So I have some local people that will come in and play a couple of tunes for us, and it's fun. I, it was, I was fun. excited when I saw for you. I was excited for oh. you that these were started up again because I know how much you had a oh, had boy. fun doing we it. We had a really great following. We were over at the Rotary Hall at the mall here across the road at Settlers Ridge Center. Shout out to those guys. Love them so much. Um, the whole Samir family, actually, um, for helping me along the way too. Um, but they're under construction, uh, and so the South Elmsley Hall, which is actually the Ronald E. Holman Municipal Center, uh, home of the recently renovated Smith, uh, South Elmsley Library. Which you had a little bit to do by with. By me, <laughs> <laughs> also, through Borgon Construction. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with the area and, and the hall and the facilities, and they're great people out there. So I was, I was happy that I was able to make a deal with those guys to get that space, too. So, excellent, excellent. Yeah. So those go that's going to be every Tuesday? Every Tuesday, 1 until 3. Um, I am looking, I've got a lot of questions about evening stuff because not everybody's retired and available or working shift work and available or whatever. So I'm, we'll, talk, we'll talk again about future plans, but I definitely have some other irons in the fire coming forward. Well, you know what, I, I, I wrote down a couple of comments because I saw it on your, your Facebook page sure. that you were starting these up again and some yeah. of the comments. Great way to get rid of the winter blues, oh. somebody said. I need it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we all do. We all <laughs> yep. do, for sure. Yep. Uh, we need something like this in Ottawa. Somebody wanted oh. it in Ottawa. Yep. And <laughs> uh, the other ones just love this, and it's awesome that it started yeah. again. So. Yeah. Boy, we, when we started, um, we, were, we only got to run for six weeks, um, pre that other thing that we went through, that pandemic we went through. Uh, yeah, so exactly. I started it about this time then, and I ran it for six weeks before we had to shut down. Um, and so I started with six people, and on the sixth week, we had 56 people. Um, so very exciting to see how much um, favor there was to come out and dance, socialize. There's going to be I, what I would say some of the best music around because I love the oldies. I grew up listening to that stuff. So right. it's, it's helped me as a DJ actually. My dad was older when he had me and played guitar and stuff. So I grew up listening to old country and I love it still. So happy to play that. Happy to have a little help from uh, some volunteers in the, in the area to come out and play some live stuff too. Also older country, but I'll play 50s, 60s. I will even a couple of 70s and 80s tunes if we need to. Obviously, my background line dancing. We usually do a little line dancing in the middle sometime through the day. So even if you're if you don't have a dance partner or whatever, you can come out, take a crack at that if you want, enjoy some music, camaraderie. Everybody's very social and likes to visit. Um, I'm going to work on bringing coffee. I'm going to definitely bring in water today because we'll need that. Uh, but I think I'll set up and have coffee for people too, because just a good time to get out of the house in the winter time. And, and even if you don't, you're not a dancer, come out and listen to the music. Come out and the, enjoy the, the music. Socialization and yep. camaraderie, like you yep. said. Yeah, we had, and I hope they can find us. We had um, a local uh, small group of people coming out um, just to listen to the music that were, um, oh boy, um, from a group home. Yeah, I'm say. thinking somebody from Community Living. Or yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, some such. Like, I yeah. hope you'll find us and come and see us. We'd love to have you again. It was awesome to see them out enjoying the music and, and just big smiles everywhere. So good to see. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Well, I know some of our special Olympic athletes. I'll yeah. put the word in Perfect. for you. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> now, you're helping out in another event that's coming up for uh, Chris Craig. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah, so March 18th, I'm just one of many people helping out, frankly. Um, so we have some live entertainment that night as well. So this is a benefit dance for Chris Craig at the Smith Falls uh, Curling Rink, um, which is, uh, I think we're starting at seven. I think the doors open at seven, if I'm not mistaken. I believe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's online, you can find it on there. Mm -hmm. uh, hashtag do it and the number four, Crager. Do it for Crager is the hashtag. Um, so you can find that anywhere. So um, live entertainment, so people like um, John Ryder, uh, Kevin Charles, and um, I'm gonna cheat and look, Fraser Bador and Bobby McGinnis will be out. So I think Bobby specializes in East Coast type stuff. Celtic music, so we'll see. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, and and that could grow. That list of entertainers could grow. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, a really great cause. I know you were part of the the uh, game there tonight. Had a good time. Oh my goodness, yes, the <gasps> Joker Prager. At uh, we had the the alumni from the Ottawa Senators and right. the 
alumni from the Smith Falls Bears. We raised over twenty-six thousand dollars. Wow, fantastic! For the family. Yes, fantastic. Yes. And for those who don't know, and Chris Craig is looking for a, a, a live a liver. A, li a, li yeah. a living donor is required for his liver mm -hmm. ASAP. Um, he's O positive blood type. That's the first step. Again, use the hashtag. Go on Facebook or Instagram. Hashtag do it and the number four Craiger, and you'll find uh, information on there with links to what would be the next step. Uh, or reach out to Sarah Craig or Bobby Joe um, uh, Craig as well. So that's right. That's get right. Get some information. We'd sure love to find them a, a living donor. Yeah, and yeah. I, like we were at uh, the game the other night too, and uh, Mayor Sean Panko got up and he spoke a few words. Nice. And I, I, I don't know what it was. The place was packed. I don't yeah. know how many people were there. I heard 1,100. I heard that too. I heard 1,100. Like, and like even among all those people there, yeah, one person could make a difference. Yep. To somebody. They, they so. take a piece. They don't take the whole thing. Obviously, they take a piece, and that piece grows back. That's right. And that piece will grow for Chris. And, uh, and he desperately difference. needs it right now. Right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, something else you're helping out with. Uh, it's a little further down the line. April yeah. 15th, the Mystical Ball. Yeah. We're looking forward to that coming back. Whew. Mystical Ball has missed a number of years now. Um, tried because uh, of different, uh, obviously, health shutdowns and stuff like that. We got close, I think, one time. And, mm -hmm. boy, didn't it come back and they locked us down again. So, right. uh, yeah, I forget how many years we've been working at this. That's... Um, Chris Craig and Lee Craig over at RCL Automotive are at least some of the organizers. I'm not sure if everybody else is involved, but who else is involved? But um, yeah, I provide the music. I usually dress up the part as best I can. Uh, mm -hmm. This year's theme is superheroes. And so I'm excited, boy, it's out at the um, former Reed Regional, I'm sorry. I don't the Gallifo Center. The Gallifo Center, mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. yes, green. And um, so they dress that hall up so nicely like yes. it, it's, amazing it's amazing to see yeah so I, th I think kids up to 12 years old i think but check it out online mystical ball um and uh and if you're not sure reach out to me i certainly point you in the right direction it's a lot of fun for the kids for sure absolutely yeah. absolutely and well, a great I, and that's a fundraiser for the food bank that's right too yes yes it yes, is that's it is. right yeah well, i yeah. thank you for everything you do for this community thank my you for brother having from me. another mother yes, <laughs> thanks yes, Kathy. Yes, my brother my my good friend Johnny Van Dusen, thanks for joining us. And Thanks let's so much get for having Tuesdays me. Tuesdays for dancing. Yeah, yeah. can't wait. <laughs> Look forward to it. Thanks, now.